and we had no bra strap. Uh, we got, we're, we're live, and Jan just mentioned a bra strap, so we will <laughs> we will stop that oh to the show for. Uh, no, I gotta fix my I gotta fix my camera. Just, oh my god! Yes, let's do all this live. I can't do all this stuff online. Hello, welcome, Jan and Jeff. We did have our little uh, a break. We Jan did went to America, and I went to Burgundy. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yep. Yeah. How was your best? How has been your Bastille Day? Well, it's actually been very nice because we're doing nothing. Oh, yeah, but I thought you worked. I thought you worked. Well, I did. I worked this morning, but uh -huh. and then we're just taking off because it's true. Since we've been home, we came down with these colds on oh, the plane. I can hear it. Yes, I can hear it. And you know what? But it's been two weeks. And uh, they just kind of hang on. So anyway, I'm I'm fine. But um, so we're just you know having a really lazy day. And Good. but I saw on the Champs Elysees that they've got um, uh, the the people from New Zealand. Yes, New Zealand and walking barefoot, fifteen miles barefoot. Really? Yes. That's interesting. If it was a, wow, yeah. that's a, that's a, I, I don't know why there's people from New Zealand in the Bastille Day Parade, but anyway, I think that's kind of with World War One because I saw something oh, about that. You're, you're right. I guess I did. I did hear that. Yeah, yeah. It does have to do with World War One. Yeah, with, but I think we should point out, and I think we might have talked about this last year, that nobody in France calls today Bastille Day. They call it Le 14 Juillet, which is the name of the, this is what I named our little hangout, or yeah. uh, Fête Nationale. It, nobody, and I think it's interesting, we have this totally different name in one language to, to the other. Yeah, yeah. Although, in, yeah, in the United States, I would say it's Bastille Day. It's Bastille Day, yeah. It's Bastille Day. It's very interesting. It's like the Jaconde. Do you know what the Jaconde is? It's the Absolutely, Mona the Mona Lisa. Lisa. And I never knew that until I came to France. La Jaconde. Oh. And it's the Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Why, why do they have two? It's like, well, it's like my name is Jan, but my real name's Jeanette. Ah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of like that in France. There's always, um, there's, you know, like I said, they love to be creative with their language. They've always got new words for, for things. Exactly. Anyway. I know but, you just had your family from California here. I had my cat family from California here. Yes, I did, and uh, it was very good. And, you had a good time. Um, yeah, and it's interesting that just to kind of as a way to segment into this. Yesterday we had uh, after having two weeks of American culture, two Americans living with us. But we're American, but we've been in France for so long. It's you wouldn't recognize us as Americans. Um, to a, it was the second day. It was, it was a fast food chain in Anmass, which is Anmass. I, I don't know if anybody knows Anmass. Well, it's not anyway, too far Anmass, from you. Yeah, yeah. Not too far from my live. It's not yeah. too far from Geneva. It's actually no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does border. I think it does border parts of uh, Switzerland. Switzerland. I went to. You know, guess what? Guess what we went to? Dan? A fast food restaurant. What fast food restaurant do you think French people would go to to wait one hour to be served their food? What restaurant do you think they would fast food, American fast food, classically well, American fast food? Well, I know I know in the United States that they wait that they wait in line for hours for In N Out Burger. In N Out Burger Burger is very popular, yes. Where I'm from in Los Angeles, and I guess we're, yeah, well, you're, you're. I mean, why, I mean, you know, there's, they, they actually block traffic. Well, but so was it an In N Out Burger? No, it was not. I don't think the French would know. If you started an In N Out Burger, I don't think that they would know. It was a KFC. And okay. we, the traffic was blocked. There were honking horns. We waited, my son waited over an hour. For our, and we bought it at a at a, at a, at a what do you want a, a kiosk? I don't know what you oh, call them in American English. Yeah. A kiosk. Uh, a we, stand. Yeah. yeah, stand, but with a computer thing. We bought them there. It was, it was bon day. It was crowded. It was jammed. They had people outside directing traffic. They would you could do the drive-in. We probably should have done the drive-in. It would have just been there. <laughs> it would have taken probably an hour. 
they had people like taking the orders and they were trying to do it as fast and you would pay and they would give it to you. They had people outside. It was incredible and it was it was jammed and it was a KFC. I don't know if there's, you know, I saw KFC in, in Paris. I don't know if yeah, I saw yeah. KFC in, anywhere else. And it was it was incredible. It was just the second day it was open and it was just, it was you couldn't believe how many people that they, they would wait in line an hour and we did and we just, i don't know if we were smart or not but anyway and what was funny is so we had chicken for lunch obviously kfc you gotta buy chicken and then at night we had chicken but guess what type of chicken we had at night not just any chicken we had breast chicken you, we had you, poulet de breast so uh, we had oh. american chicken and then we had hey, the french hey. chicken you still there jen <laughs> so what was KFC. Why was there so many people? It was, it was. I have no idea. I have no idea. It was very popular. I know that uh, Burger King is now very popular in France too. There's only one or two, and I went to one in there was the third one in Paris, and I went to it a couple of days after it opened. Yeah. The door, the line was out the door also, and, and somebody told me it's um, Salazar, one of the train stations in Paris. They always oh. have a line for Burger King. And, wow. and I had a, I knew some a French guy, and he his 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 what was the thing? Yeah. His thing to all three star restaurants in France. With somebody he had a little bit of money, so that, that was his thing. He waited an hour to go to Burger King to buy a hamburger, and he told me he didn't like it. So it wasn't very good. I thought it was so funny. You go from three star yeah. restaurants. In restaurants, and then you go to any any he wanted to. We, we yeah. all have our yeah. People can. Ooh, you're breaking up there, Jan. Dad, one of his lady friends, she did about in and out burger. So one day as we were coming home from a trip, the four of us, Stefan and my dad, and her stopped. And, you know, had bur an in and out burger. And I'm like, what is the big thing about this? I mean, it was, you know, it was a, it was a hamburger with, you know, wasn't, I mean, there was nothing particularly great about it, but people, no. you know, wait uh, in long waits for in and out burger. It's amazing. It's, I don't know. I mean, we, we, KFC, we, yeah, KFC, since they've, Opened here in Montemar. Looks. Like You're breaking up. I don't know why. It's really good. It's good. Yeah. You're breaking up. But what was interesting when when we were when my my had my mother and my sister here. We went to um. I who in Chamonix, yeah. uh, at the foot of the Mont Blanc, and it was this. It was this, um. It was a chef who was at Le Bistro, and Le Bistro was a one star. Uh, one star Michelin restaurant. I think what the chef's name is, but he moved to the Hotel du Mont Blanc, and what he does, he, he still does it. You can get the menu at lunchtime for twenty-two euros, and wow. it has the main plates, dessert. But you have to buy a drink, and if you buy coffee, it's gonna go over. It's gonna go over twenty-two. Yeah. But he's a Michelin Michelin starred restaurant. He said he gave back his star because he didn't want it. There was a lot of pressure, and you have to you have to do it the way Michelin wants, and he just wants to offer really, really good cooking, haute cuisine, at yeah. a reasonable price. And 22 euros, when we went to La Bistro, which at the time, was, I believe, is still a one-star Michelin restaurant, was 21 euros for lunch. So, you know, we, we went from, yeah. within a week, we went from a one-star Michelin, a chef at least, who was really good, to KFC. Yeah. And, uh, anyway, we had a, a culinary, <laughs> we had a culinary voyage. Beer. Culinary voyage, and now they're back in California, continuing their culinary voyage in the states. I don't know what we ate for two weeks. I just, you know, I just don't even, I don't even know what to eat. Well, I'll be honest with you. Where my dad, the the, the retirement home where my dad was, um, we ate there every day at lunch. And the chef there, he doesn't have a Michelin star, but he has been known, and I think I mentioned this before. From Mrs. Um, from has gotten you know an award from her and has and the food is pretty good and it's very well balanced. Are pretty pretty good and at night I don't even remember we snacked and we, whatever <laughs> the American way 
<laughs> right. When we, well, we always went with the good wine, the French wine that's from this area at Ralph's. You can get, if you buy a six pack, you get 30% off. You buy a six pack of, of wine? You well, like you know, bags. That, yeah, but you, they've got these bags at Ralph's where you can put in six bottles of wine. And if you get six bottles, then you get 30% off. So uh, local French wine is in the States than it is here. But, you know, it's a long ways to go to get local wine. There's a long ways to go to get, to get wine. All right. Well, it sounds good, well, Jen. Gosh, yeah, it was fun to see you again, Jeff, and um, and we'll have to get back back with uh, our. We will. All right. Bye bye. Ciao. Take care. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.